everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new episode of BitLife Controls My Sims Royal Edition. I am so excited for today's episode because I have recently taken a break, I am super refreshed and I am so excited to finally get to be back with this family and I hope you all are too. I plan on jumping through uh, Lottie's life uh, quite a few years today, maybe like five years or so because I really want to get um, Edmund, our heir, to become a young adult or to become a teen today. So that's my goal. I hope you are all looking forward to today's episode and let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm so excited. I always really love coming back to this family. Um, it's just a lot of fun to play with these kids. It looks like Edmund is enjoying the hot tub. Um, oh, he's sleeping in the hot tub. That's probably not safe, but he's a kid, so he'll probably be fine. So if we go ahead and look at the bit life here and do a quick recap, we can see that Lottie, we left off at the age of 51 years old. Marquis Edmund started secondary school. He's 11, so I'm hoping to get him to about 15 today. That's kind of my goal. Um, other than that, though, nothing's really happened. We've been researching the locations for a luxury vacation home, so I thought maybe she'll purchase a vacation home today. Um, we read some books, we went to the gym, and I made sure to get all of her stats up to 100%. So I'm going to go ahead and take a peek here because it says we have a new heirloom. Ooh, we got a skateboard. <laughs> oh, I mean $102. That's not bad, right? So I'm actually going to go ahead and start the episode off with aging up little Lottie here. Dodge Viper, your car has broken, your car has a broken thermostat. Uh, sure, we'll fix it. Mmm, that repaired car smell. <laughs> your orange Dodge Viper is back in service. My little brother, Duke Edwin, has fathered a boy named Ryan Attenborough. Oh my god, that's like the first time, well, I guess we had Christian. Oh, I'm so happy. That is so exciting. Friends have started asking me for money, thinking that just because I'm famous, I have more than I need. Well, <laughs> let's be honest here, Lottie. Edwin, let's go look at our brother. He's 40 years old. Oh, he's single. He fathered a kid, but he, it was out of wedlock. Oh, and we have little Ryan Attenborough. And parents, Duke Edwin and Elsie Woodbridge. Ooh, so she sounds like another, uh, social elite at least <laughs> so we're gonna have to go to manage world and get that sorted out i'm so excited um we currently still have everybody here from spencer's birthday party after his age up so we have the queen here and we have edwin can be like oh by the way mom by the way sis um, I had a kid out of wedlock, you know, and in the royal family, I would imagine that wouldn't go over so well, but because he's the youngest and he really doesn't have a very high chance of ever becoming the heir, I feel like at least it wouldn't be as serious, but I do think that they would be trying to encourage him to marry this girl, Ellie or Elsie, whatever her name is. <gasps> I'm so excited. Now off camera, I did go ahead and I started working on everybody's aspirations. I got Lottie. She actually completed the friend of the world aspiration so the reward trait that she received was beloved everyone remembers a beloved sim their relationships never fade which is really nice because i wish i could give that to everyone in the decades household because they always forget each other so i purchased the always welcome trait from the reward store i also got her the incredibly uh, friendly from the rewards store because obviously she's famous. I feel like everybody would really like her. And I also got her seldom sleepy. So she needs less sleep than other Sims. So that's pretty cool. So she's got quite the trait panel going on here. <laughs> she's doing really great and she has the people person lifestyle. So Edmund wants to be a social butterfly. Lottie wants to be an artistic prodigy. And we also have Spencer who wants to be a 
rambunctious scamp. He's actually almost done. He's on level two of three for his, and that would give him physically gifted. So I would like to try to get him to work on that today. So I'm gonna have him actually go onto the computer practice typing which will help with his motor skills so I'm really excited to get him that and um, Edmund wants to become friends with three other children which is kind of surprising to me because we have all the kids in our group but I guess we just haven't become friends with them yet so I think I'm gonna have him because it's Saturday I'm gonna have him uh, do a club gathering and hopefully all of his little friendos will show up and we'll be able to work on that today because I really want him to go into being a teen and a young adult with a pretty good um, trait system because like I feel like as a royal you're supposed to be you know considered really well-rounded and well-trained for all of the different um, emotional you know all the different aspects because you're gonna be you know interacting with so many different people in the world and different groups of people that you know you want to be able to have a conversation and keep up with all of them so I feel like his parents would really want him to be really well-rounded not only with education but you know with his social abilities all of that stuff so I'm gonna have him get photos with everybody and hopefully we'll be able to become yeah. good friends with them all Oh, they're so cute. I'm so excited to see these two as, you know, like princes who kind of get into trouble and cause all kinds of different problems for everyone. I think it's gonna be so cute. Okay, so we just became friends with Brad, so that's really exciting. Now, in BitLife, Lottie really wanted to buy a vacation home, so I thought we should try to go ahead. First off, I really wanna sell our Dodge Viper. Nobody wants to buy it. Okay, can we just get rid of it? I guess we'll have to repair it. Let's just scrap it. There we go, bye! <laughs> okay, so we need to go shopping. And we need a vacation home. So I feel like, uh, let's try, uh, ooh, Henry Wolf Realty. <gasps> Maybe she wants to buy an acreage in, in England because we have the new cottage living pack and she wants something that's more away from the city, you know? That could be fun. So let's go ahead and, um, what's this one? Um, ask your husband, Duke Frankie, if he's interested in buying a three bedroom, five bathroom acreage today. Let's ask him. Your husband, Duke Frankie, does not want to buy the acreage. He says it's dated. Um, never mind then. Okay. It's dated. So what would he like? Is there one that's a little bit more? Maybe he wants an equestrian. So we're gonna ask him, it's brand new. It's got eight bedrooms, six bathrooms. So hopefully he'll be happy with that. Um, charming equestrian property. Your husband, Duke Frank, he does not wanna buy the equestrian, he's asking. Okay, never mind then. Well, I guess he doesn't want us to have anything. What a bummer. I don't like that the husbands keep saying no to buying things, it's my money. <laughs> This one is so cute. I really am a big fan of the princess of Norway. I'm pretty sure it's Norway. She is so cute, isn't she? I think she's so unique looking. I just think she's absolutely adorable. She's really unique looking too. Not that this picture really does her much justice. Okay, so we did it. Become friends with two children. We need to be friends with two adults. Okay, so I'm actually going to invite over Harrison because I feel like he would be a good one for him to become friends with. Oh, there's Harrison. Okay. Ask about day. The great thing about Harrison is that um, even though he probably did cheat on Madison, <laughs> I understand kind of because she was kind of really full of herself when she was younger and you know he was always a really good dad always there for the kids so even though him and Madison didn't really work out as best as I think he would have hoped um, I do think that uh, he'd be a really good grandpa 
And like, even though these two got separated, he's been with, like he's never left the family. He comes to all the events. He's still really social with, uh, you know, all of the different royal events. And he's never caused any problems for the royal family. He's always stayed very, uh, you know, professional, even though he's not really a big fan of her. Look, he can't even stand to be next to her. But he's still trying because his grandson is here. That's so sweet. We need these two to become friends. Oh, yay! We just became friends with Grandpa. That's awesome. I'm so happy. So we should be able to get him to uh, level 3 here. We need to get him to social number 10. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna age her up another year because nothing really exciting has happened. <gasps> oh, Harrison Batty, death. Your father passed away at the age of 83 years old. He died after suffering a stroke. It is your responsibility to plan his funeral. Oh my gosh, this is gonna kill Edmund. He literally just became best friends with his grandpa. Oh my gosh, why does this have to happen to me? All right, let's uh, plan his funeral. Funeral planning, it's time to decide what to do with your father's remains. He, his wish was to be cremated. Oh my gosh, obviously we're gonna cremate him. <laughs> Look at dad's leaving. I should get going now. Oh no, dad. Okay, obviously we're going to respect his wishes. Ashes. You've received your father's ashes back from the crematorium. What will you do? Obviously we're not going to throw them in the trash. We're going to keep them in the urn at the family memorial site. Still looking after you. You and your siblings each inherited $13 million from dad. Oh, I didn't know dad was that rich. Okay, 53 years old. My daughter, Marchioness Phoebe, Phoebe started secondary school. My nephew, Christian, has been diagnosed with oh, constipation. Okay, I was really worried. Um, my father died after suffering a stroke. I planned his funeral and arranged it for him to be cremated per his wishes. I put my father's ashes in an urn and stored it in a safe place. And we each inherited 13 million pounds. Wow, that's a lot of money. Okay, so let's get grandpa to come on back here. Aw, that makes me so sad. That's gotta hit mom hard because dad cheated on Madison, you know, so she probably still had feelings for him all this time, even though they weren't super close. Uh, okay, where'd dad go? Is grandpa coming? Oh, there's grandpa, okay. Well, it is time to say goodbye to grandpa. We are gonna go ahead and go MC Command Center and we will do, so we will obviously do death by old age. Aw, 83 years old. You know, he lived a really good life and he was a really great dad. And you know, if it weren't for Harrison, we wouldn't have all of the kids that we love so much. Aw. Dad. Lottie is going to be so upset. Her and dad were always so close. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm going to have Frankie come out here so he can be here for his wife. It makes sense that it would be Lottie's responsibility. She is like the... Do you know who's really going to be sad? Victoria. This is going to ruin Victoria. Aww. She's like, wait, don't take me. I'm not ready yet. <laughs> Witness death. Mourning. The death of a loved one affects those closest to them. Sims can mourn at a tombstone to feel more at peace. Aww. So he's going to be really sad. Can you try to give her a hug? Aww. Here, he's going to go console his wife about the death of her father. Everyone's getting the call now. Aw, thank you. So she's gonna be sad for two days. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put dad in our inventory. And then tomorrow we will go ahead and uh, take him over to the family memorial and plan the funeral for, his lo for the loss of him. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead to manage worlds and we're gonna try to make our nephew Ryan Attenborough and uh, his mother, um, Elsie Woodbridge. So he's living in the royal family household here. How old is Victoria now? She's 63, so I think we're gonna just go into their household and edit all of them. She's still got red hair though. She's still dyeing her hair, but she is an elder now. Uh, can you believe Victoria is an elder? She's so cute. I just love her. He's still super cool though. <laughs> and let's see, Edmund is our son. How old is Willow? Willow was quite a bit younger. She's only 45. That's crazy. There's such a big difference between all of them. So Willow is an adult and she still has her red hair. So she's doing okay. She's so cute. She doesn't have any kids, right? No, she's single and has no children. And Edwin is 41. Can you believe he became a dad at 41? He's definitely an adult now though. He's gonna have good kids though. So let's try to get him a wife here. So let's go add a Sim. Oh, this girl's cute. She can be his girlfriend. <laughs> I'm just gonna randomize her traits. There we go. And Elsie Woodbridge, there we go. And you two need to procreate, play with genetics. There we go, and his name is Ryan Attenborough. So he took our last name. Watch him try to like get rid of all of us and steal the throne. <laughs> and we'll randomize his traits. He is wild, oh my gosh. So he's still only one right now, so I really don't know what his looks are gonna be but I do know that he is a little bit paler, so we'll put him here. That could be good in between. And let's just give him, aw, this is actually so cute. There we go. And I'll just have no clue what his hair is gonna be yet, so I'll just throw that on him for now. Aw, so there's little Ryan Attenborough. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna age Lottie up one more year overnight here and then we are gonna go and bury dad and have his funeral. Mischief, your little sister Duchess Willow wants to get up to some mischief with you. What will you do? Uh, no, I am about to be <laughs> queen. Okay, uh, my nephew Christian is no longer suffering from constipation. <gasps> My big sister Victoria has been diagnosed with dementia. Oh, that's awful. That's so sad about Victoria. She was so, like, she has such a bright and like fun personality. I like to, dementia is seriously such a sad disease. I had her do some gardening, so I am gonna get her to make um, a flower arrangement. Uh, that way she can, you know, make herself feel better. And also hopefully it will, um, we can take it and put it at his grave site um, once we get to the family funeral home. I think that she is uh, definitely, oh, she just sneezed in the flowers. I think that Lottie, um, really appreciated the balance that her dad gave. Sorry, she keeps sneezing. I'm not laughing at her dad being gone. I think she really appreciated the um, balance her dad offered in the light in her life because, you know, he wasn't from a royal family. He was definitely from a wealthy family, but he wasn't from a royal family. And so he tended to have the kids do more regular activities than um, her mom did. Her mom always wanted them to go to big family events and different things like that, you know, and always dress up. Whereas her dad was like, no, why don't we go for like a family vacation? Let's go snowboarding. Let's go to theme parks, you know, uh, things more like that. So it's going to be a big adjustment. And I think anytime something like that happens, especially for Lottie, it's like, oh man, you know, like <sighs> she's going to be queen that much sooner. So mom's 84. Like we don't know how much longer we're gonna have her around for. Mm, mom, 
Hey laddie, it's your ma. Do you want to hang out tonight? Mom's 84, she's still wanting to go to the nightclubs. <laughs> Mom, we got a funeral to attend. Mom's like, let's celebrate. <laughs> I know you and dad had a bad falling out, but geez, come on. <laughs> oh, she's so bad. That's why we love her though. Oh, look, I heard about the passing of someone special to you. I wanted to offer my condolences. Thanks, mom. So she obviously got the message of us being like, Mom, today's probably not the best day to go clubbing. <laughs> Your ex-husband died. <laughs> and she's like, oh, yeah, I'm so sorry. Bye. <laughs> Yay. Aspiration completed. Marky Edmund can now mock other Sims moods. He can also... He can, he also can now gain skill in mischief and charisma. That's so exciting. He maxed out his skill. I'm so excited for him. So it says here, the reward for that is at socially gifted. So he has the new socially gifted. So we'll select a new aspiration once he ages up. We are gonna go ahead and we are going to travel as a family to the family memorial, uh, to the family funeral home, and we're gonna lay dad to rest. I do think it'd be a more private event because dad isn't considered a, a royal family member really as much as, you know, like the queen and stuff is. So we are here. I'm also going to have Lottie do a club gathering of the British royals and that way we can properly lay grandpa to rest. And I guess we can put him right here. Oh, I forgot to bring our flower arrangement that she made. Okay, so in BitLife it gives me the option to mourn dad's life. So I'm gonna go ahead and all choked up, you mourn the loss of your dear father. That made us a little sad, but it is for the best. So I'm gonna have her come over and mourn dad. And I'm also gonna have the kiddos do it. I'm hoping it'll help with their sadness a little bit faster. Aw, look at everybody, so sad. Hopefully that'll help. Like I said, I really do think that this is gonna hit Edmund in a way that he doesn't quite understand yet. And I think that as he gets older, he's really gonna start to have a little bit of a rebellious streak because of, you know, the pressure of becoming a royal and also the fact that, you know, he just suffered such a great loss. Um, I am gonna go ahead and age up one more year and then we can uh, give Edmund a makeover. <gasps> Hook up, Mason shuffle bottom. A gentleman named Mason reveals that he has never been this close to a celebrity before and asks if he'd like to get a little closer. Uh, no, I'm a faithful wife. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. My son Spencer started secondary school and my sister Victoria retired. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't think we're gonna have Victoria much longer. Aww. Let's try to have a conversation. And how old is our kids? Phoebe is 13, Edmund is 11. So I am only gonna age up Edmund today who is 15. Um, we were able to hang out with the family and look, even little Madison's really sad. You know, it's a big change for her, but it's still really sad. Yeah, I definitely think Roland would dislike mischief. <laughs> so at least everybody was able to come, pay their respects to the family, and you know, we should actually put his urn in here. If I wanted to, oh my gosh, look, we can put dad in here. I didn't even know that was a thing. That makes sense though because he wanted to be in an urn. There we go, so he's been cremated. Who else do we have here? That is so cool. <laughs> I didn't know that they had these little stands that we could put great uh, urns in. That is so cool. So dad has passed away, so sad. I'm gonna send everybody home though and we're gonna go ahead and age up Edmund before the end of the episode. So I'm really excited because um, we got his aspiration done. So he's already starting life with some pretty high satisfaction points. So we'll be able to get him some good traits. Hopefully that will help him on his road to becoming king. Hi. It's okay. Okay, so he's about to blow out his candles. Oh, I'm so excited to see him. I think he's gonna be so adorable.
Okay, so what do we got here? So he was already outgoing. I have a feeling he is gonna be a little bit of a flirt. So I wanna give him the romantic trait. Now for aspiration, I do think we're gonna have him do uh, party animal. He wants to throw and attend amazing parties. I want him to be party animal for now. And then as he becomes more mature, we might change it. Um, so I'm really excited. Ah! Okay, so this is him before his makeover. Um, I think he's so cute, but I know he's gonna be even cuter once I get all of his CC on him. What a little cutie. He looks so much like Roland and Harrison. <laughs> so let's just take off everything. Oh yeah, he's gonna be handsome. I can already tell. I'm so excited. He's a little cutie. Let's make him a little more broad. So there he is before his makeover. I am gonna make him probably a little bit taller just because I want him to be tall. <laughs> so I am gonna go give him his makeover and then I will see you guys when I am done. So I will be right back. Alrighty, I just finished giving Edmund his makeover and I'm not gonna lie, it has been uh, a few hours. <laughs> Cause not only did I give this handsome prince slash king to be a makeover, but I also went ahead and I gave all of his royal friends a makeover. So I'm gonna show you all of them after I show you Edmund. So here is handsome Edmund. I think he is so ridiculously cute. He looks so much like uh, Prince Eric with the hairstyle. <laughs> and I went ahead and I made him quite a bit taller than his siblings because I feel like, I don't know, I just thought he would be tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> so this is his everyday look. I figure because Edmund is still you know, very professional and put together, his everyday look would still be like suit uh, uh, pants, like suit pants and a nice button up shirt, just a little bit more casual without the tie, but still tucked in. Then for his formal, we obviously have one with the crown and one without depending on the event. We brought his red back for his fitness look and I think he looks so cool. Um, his sleepwear and his party wear. So he's got like a suit. This is definitely a little bit more casual nightclub, uh, you know, dressed up for like a nightclub type look. And then he also has more like a, you know, family gathering, just, you know, jeans and a shirt when he's not doing, you know, when he's not on duty. Then his swim, his hot weather, again, still really put together and his cold weather. I think he is just so cute. I love him. He looks so much like Frankie and a lot like um, his uncle Roland. I see a lot of Roland in him and obviously Madison. And so yeah, so that's um, Marky Edmund, our heir to be looking like a snack, <laughs> looking super duper cute with his new outfit. And I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the other households. That way you can see the other royal kids. So now we're in the Denmark family home and we have Brad, the Prince of Denmark and his twin sister, Kiera. So this is Brad with his makeover. He's definitely a suave guy and I gave him, you know, he's a party goer. He's a little bit full of himself. He's got, I think the exact same traits as Edmund. He's outgoing and flirty or outgoing and romantic and also is a party animal. So I have a feeling these kids are definitely going <laughs> to get themselves in trouble. And then we have a beautiful Princess Kira. I think she is my favorite Sim out of all of the kiddos so far because I think she's just so unique looking. I really love how she looks. Um, and I just think she's so beautiful. So there, so I tried to give her some fun looks. She is such a cute little button. I really love her. So I hope you guys like the Denmark children. All right, next we have, oh, I forgot. I, I have to be honest, I love them all. So here's Princess Nika of Norway. How cute is she? 
I saw this like lime green yellow on her and I was like, that's it. She's gonna have lime green yellow everything. And I just love her bangs. I think her hair is so cool. Uh, and I made her really short. So I just think she's cute as a button. I forgot how cute she turned out. So now I'm like, do I like her or do I like Kira better? I really can't decide. Um, so I ended up going for yellow for a lot of her looks. I just thought the lime green and yellows looked so, so cute on her. And I think she's actually super cute too. There is gonna be a lot of opportunities for Edmund to break some hearts. <laughs> and Eloise is another really super cute sim that we have here. Now, because she is just the daughter of a mayor in uh, Canada, you know, she's not, you know, required to be quite as dressed up or put together as the rest of the royal kids are. She would have met them when they came to visit, but she doesn't run in the same crowd. So I definitely made her a little bit more casual and rustic slash, you know, country vibe since she obviously is from such a Southern province. Um, and I really loved green on her. I think she's so ridiculously cute. I love this hair on her. She grew up to be such a beauty queen. Um, and I really think that she might bring a balance to the friend group because she's not as pressure on her to be something. She's not. I really love this outfit on her. I think she is just so cute. So uh, there is all of the royal kids. I really hope you like how they all turned out. They're gonna be such a fun group to hang out with. So we're back in the household. Let's see if we can find, oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Edmund is so sweet. His grades dropped since he aged up. He's still really sad about the loss in the family. But one thing we do have to do is his bedroom is definitely more designed for a younger teen, uh, for a kid. So I think we should go ahead and try to give him uh, more mature, uh, <laughs> A more but mature bedroom. Uh, when I did uh, Spencer's bedroom, I pretty much made it a mature bedroom right away. So I am gonna go ahead and quickly give his bedroom a makeover. And when I am done, I will catch back up with you. So I just finished Edmund's uh, teen slash most likely will be his adult bedroom and I'm really loving how it turned out. <laughs> I tried to give him like super modern meets masculine and I think it turned out pretty good. I gave him like a really cool like open uh, wardrobe where he can see all of his suits and stuff and a nice big speaker. He's into fitness obviously so I gave him like a, a walking map. <laughs> um, a couple plants, uh, a big brick uh, parts of the wall here and I don't know I just really think it looks super classy like I could totally see it all of the awards he's won I could see him wanting to collect like really old historical things so I don't know I just think it looks really neat and I still made sure to keep all of his family photos I am gonna go ahead and I'm going to leave this episode here I hope you all enjoyed this part let me know what you think of all of the makeovers of all of the royal kids I am so excited to send all of the teens out to see what type of trouble we can get them into in the next episode. And of course, we, like I said before, we will most likely see this little cutie who is crying right now. Oh, poor Phoebe. Uh, we will see her most likely age up in the next episode. And until next time, I'm going to say bye for now. Discomfort